like to introduce Congressman Banks to come lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Around here, we support our law enforcement, and we respect and stand for our flag. So please join me in pledging allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm very honored uh, to be here today for this cause. And from time to time, as your congressman, you can take a seat. Um, from time to time, as your congressman, I get to do something uh, uh, special. And uh, this, this occasion calls for exactly that, what we're here today to do. So last week, I uh, submitted for the congressional record uh, so that forever, we can remember what happens here today, and it'll be recorded in the history of our country in the congressional record. I submitted the following uh, entry that I'm going to read to you today. Madam Speaker, I rise today to honor the life of Sergeant Joseph A. Cox, Jr. of Fort Wayne, Indiana. Four, four plus years ago, tragedy struck when on Sunday, February 12, 2017, Joe died unexpectedly while on duty. Prior to joining law enforcement, Joe was a combat veteran of the United States Marine Corps. Upon returning to civilian life, Cox joined the Allen County Sheriff's Department where he would go on to serve for 19 years. As a Sergeant, Joe, Joe served in the Confinement Division, Communications Dispatch Center, Civil, Warrants, and Patrol Divisions. He was also a member of the Honor Guard, the SWAT team, and was a handler to his beloved K-9 partner, Gunny. In addition to his work in law enforcement, Joe was an active member of his community, the consummate family man, and a devout Christian. He was a member of Black Hawk Ministries, where he participated in programs Double Exposure and Marriage Matters. He also volunteered with the Juvenile Justice Ministry of Youth for Christ. Today, we honor Joe's memory by way of the Sergeant Joseph A. Cox Jr. Memorial Parkway, a roadway serving an area where Joe patrolled for nearly 20 years. This record is a testament to Joe and his peerless devotion to his family, community, and to his country. He is missed dearly and though he is no longer with us, his legacy of service and selflessness endures. Uh, I submitted this to the congressional record, uh, so it will always, what, what happens here today will always be remembered, and I want to present this. If the family would like to join me, I'd like to hand this over to you. Thank you, Congressman Banks. Thank you, Congressman Banks, both for your service and your words today. Good afternoon. My name is Adam Mildred, and I had the honor of working with Joe professionally and with Mrs. Diana Cox and their family in seeking this designation. On their behalf, uh, thank you for joining in this celebration. Now, there were several people who contributed uh, to this project. Uh, Sheriff David Gladio in the Allen County Sheriff's Department. Uh, in particular, Captain Steve Stone uh, worked very hard to help put together these events today. Allen County Commissioners Beck, Brown, and Peters. Mayor Steve McMichael in the New Haven Board of Works. James Ball, Mitch Harper, Mitch McKinney, Zach Moore to the New Haven Police Department. Tim Smith in the City of Fort Wayne Board of Works. Uh, and in particular, Kyle Windling, Bruce Razor, and Johnny Snyder who created this great sign, which you'll see here in a little bit. But one of the things you'll notice when you look at this sign, just as that sign shows Joe looking upward, everyone here that knew Joe knows he would insist that these honors be directed towards his creator. And so the family is thankful to God for all the great things he has done, is doing, and will do through Joe and all the first responders and community leaders gathered here today. Thank you.
Now joining us today, uh, representing Allen County, is Allen County Commissioner Nelson Peters with a proclamation. Thank you, Adam. And on behalf of uh, Commissioners Treese, Brown, Richback, and the entire Allen County community, we want to say thank you for allowing us to be part of, uh, part of this event today. And uh, to the Cox family, thank you for giving us Joe. A Christian with an active role at Black Hawk Ministries, a loving family man, and a valiant public servant who was a veteran of the U.S. Marine Corps and served 19 years as an officer with the Allen County Sheriff's Department. These are some of the things that define Officer Joe Cox. Today is a time for remembrance. It's a time for reflection, but it's also a celebration of a life well lived. As we dedicate this stretch of Maple Crest Road, the Sergeant Joseph A. Cox Jr. Memorial Parkway. To his children, Amy, and Melissa, Jessica, Joseph, Kristen, and Jared. To his mother and father, Joseph and Brenda. To his siblings, Stephanie and Matthew. To his grandchildren and to his wife, Diana. We know that this honor will never replace your father, grandfather, brother, son, and husband. But we can only hope that this action today helps to provide some small level of comfort as you remember him. To that end, and in remembrance of Sergeant Cox, we have a proclamation, and it reads as follows. Whereas Sergeant Joseph A. Cox, Jr. joined the Allen County Sheriff's Department in 1997, where he remained a loyal servant to the community until his passing while on duty on February 12, 2017. Whereas during that time, Sergeant Cox served in the Confinement Division, Communications, Dispatch Center, Civil, Warrants, and Patrol Divisions, and whereas he was also a member of the Honor Guard SWAT team and was handler to his beloved canine partner, Gunny. And whereas during this time with the department, Sergeant Cox gained the reputation of being a compassionate, humble, and professional law enforcement officer dedicated to protecting and serving his community and fellow officers. And whereas, those who knew him well have described Joe as unwavering in his desire to leave a positive impact on anyone in any way he could. And whereas we take the opportunity on this day to join his family and friends in designating a section of Maple Crest Road, the Sergeant Joseph A. Cox Jr. Memorial Parkway. Now, therefore, the Board of Commissioners of the County of Allen hereby proclaims July 7th, 2021 as Sergeant Joseph A. Cox Jr. Day in Allen County and encourages our citizens to join us in recognizing and honoring the impact and legacy of this extraordinary servant leader. Signed Commissioners Richard Beck, Nelson Peters, Therese Brown. Thank you so much and Godspeed Joe. And now with uh, a proclamation representing the City of Fort Wayne Board of Works is the chairman uh, of that board, uh, Sean Ganawardina, with a uh, proclamation from Mayor Henry. Thank you very much, Adam. Unfortunately, Mayor Henry was not able to be here today, but on behalf of the mayor, I'm very privileged and honored to be here today and be a part of this occasion. I hereby would like to read the proclamation from Mayor Henry, which states as such. Whereas Sergeant Joseph A. Cox, Jr. died unexpectedly while on duty with the Allen County Sheriff's Department on February 12, 2017, after a lifetime of public service, and whereas Sergeant Cox was an active member of Black Hawk Ministries and was also a volunteer with Youth for Christ in their Journal Justice Ministry, 
He was a U.S. Marine Corps veteran and served the Allen County Sheriff's Department for 19 years, rising to the rank of sergeant in 2015. Sergeant Cox was a leader within his department, serving in the Confinement, Communications, Civil Warrants, and Patrols Division. He also served as a member of the Honor Guard, SWAT, and as a firearms instructor and canine handler. And whereas it is appropriate for the community in which Sergeant Joseph A. Cox Jr. lived, served, and protected to mark his life in a way that reminds his family, those he touched, future police officers, and those of future generations of his service and devotion. And whereas the recognition of Sergeant Cox's service will benefit our community because it will remind us all to strive better, st strive to be better, the officers traveling to train at the Allen County Sheriff's Department training facility will be reminded of his exacting standards and servant leadership. The community will be perpetually reminded of his commitment to them. Our young people will hopefully be aspired to be like Joe because he ref reflects what is best in us. And finally, whereas Sergeant Cox's first watch over our community was July 7th, 1997, it is fitting and proper that this recognition be on the anniversary of the commencement of his service to Allen County. Now, therefore, Thomas C. Henry, mayor of the city of Fort Wayne, Indiana, does hereby proclaim July 7th, 2021, as Sergeant Joseph A. Cox, Jr. Day in Fort Wayne, encouraging all citizens to duly note, note this occasion. And I do have another little memento for the family. This is a, a replica of the sign that will be posted on Maple Crest Road. And will hopefully serve as a keepsake for the family. Also joining us today is uh, New Haven Mayor Steve McMichael with a proclamation. It is great on with great honor I stand here today as New Haven's mayor, the city that Joe called home, a community that's proud of Sergeant Cox and the entire family. I first met Joe through a mutual friend and it didn't take long to learn that Joe was a man of principle, a man who loved God, who loved his family, who loved his country, and loved his community. On behalf of the entire New Haven community, I can't tell you how proud we are of Joe and Joe's family and the contributions that continue through the legacy of Joe. With that, I have a proclamation from the city of New Haven. Whereas the people of New Haven are proud of native son, Sergeant Joseph A. Cox, Junior's career of public service and ministry of community service. Graduating from New Haven High School in 1987, he entered the service of our nation and served as a United States Marine until 1993. He then joined the Allen County Sheriff's Department in 1997, where his public service continued until his last watch on February 12th, 2017. Whereas Joe invested himself in our community, not only through his career of public service, but also through a significant ministry of community service. He served in a program called SOS, Saints on the Street, that mentored the urban homeless and had a passion for helping people build healthy marriages through the Marriage Matters Ministry at Black Hawk Ministries. And whereas Joe worked with at-risk youth, particularly through the Juvenile Justice Ministry with Youth for Christ of Allen County Juvenile Center, he also volunteered with the Boy Scouts of America and the Cops for Kids program. He was committed to helping the next generation and led weekly small group Bible studies for teenage boys. And whereas July 7th marks the anniversary of the beginning of his watch with the Allen County Sheriff's Department, it is appropriate that the corridor that connects our county and two cities he designated as the Sergeant Joseph A. Cox Jr. Memorial Parkway, recognizing his service to all of us. Now, therefore, I, New Haven Mayor Stephen S. McMichael, do hereby declare July 7th, 2021, as Sergeant Joseph A. Cox Jr. Day and encourage all residents 
to recognize all the communities served by Sergeant Cox and urge citizens to a life of service in his honor. Thank you. And now with some final thoughts uh, from his beloved agency, the Allen County Sheriff's Department, uh, Chief Deputy Troy Hirschberger. Diana, Joe, and family, good afternoon. And on behalf of Sheriff Gladio and the Allen County Sheriff's Department, we thank you all for attending today. A little over four years ago, everyone here suffered a loss. A family member, a friend, a colleague, or a law enforcement brother. Sergeant Cox had a heart of a servant and a spirit of a warrior who devoted himself to the citizens of our community. Joe was a servant of God. His style was distinctly his own. He had a voice which he utilized to proclaim the word of God at home and at times to display his faith when needed professionally. All who knew Joe could readily see that he was a fearless testifier of the truth, intelligent in thought, a radiant personality who was unwavering in commitment and belief. Undoubtedly, he loved his family and always supported them with the moral teaching to love and support, which he supported us in the rain. <laughs> Joe was a strong pillar on which his family could rely on for support. Joe had a love of country because he believed in it. He served it as a young man in the U.S. Marine Corps, as we've heard, and later in life for nearly 20 years with the Allen County Sheriff's Department. I was provided some words of wisdom that are attributed to Madam Shanghai Shek, called the sum total from an old friend several years ago. And it reads as follows. We are what we do. If the president has taught us anything, it is that every cause brings its effect. Every action has a consequence. Good begets evil. This is the moral foundation of the universe. This precept applies to every man's life. Grant it. The sun shines on saint and sinner alike, and too often the wicked seem to prosper. But I say the flourishing of the wicked is an illusion and a fantasy, for unceasingly life keeps a book on us all. In the end, we will be the sum total of all our actions. Character not, cannot be counterfeited. It can't be put on and cast off as if it were a garment. Life like the markings on wood, which are ingrained in the very heart of the tree, character requires time and nurture to grow and develop. Thus, day by day, we write our own destiny, for inexorably, we become what we do. In the end, Joe represented that sum total, and as a result, our community has as well, by permanently naming the stretch of Maple Crest Road in his honor today. We thank him for that. Now I'd like to uh, conclude and turn this over to Joe's dad. He may come up. Thank you, sir. May we pray? Father, we just uh, we come before you today, Lord, humbly. Father, as we celebrate uh, this time that we've had with, with Joe over the years, Father, his, uh, his commitment to the, to the life that he chose to lead as a Marine and as a Deputy Sheriff. Father, there are many police officers here this, today. Father, they each and every one, Lord, need your touch. They need your wisdom, and especially they need your protection. Father, these are different times that we live in today. And we ask, Lord, that you would protect our, our police officers from all departments, from all states, from all countries. 
Lord, it's a dangerous place to be to put on a uniform and a badge in our day and time. We just ask, Lord, that again, that your protection be above and, and watch over each and every one. Keep them in your care, Lord. Watch over their families. Strengthen the, their, their, their families as they go out to work each day, each night. Bring them home safely, Father. Let them have a, a, a family to come home to as the one they left. Just thank you again, Lord. We pray for each and every officer here and all that we know in Christ's name. Amen. Thank you, Joe. That concludes what we have to present today. Thank you, everybody, for being here. Diana, I hope this is the least we can do to remember Joe's legacy by. And I hope it's greatly appreciated by the community. I thank you, everybody, for the kind words, awesome words, and powerful words today. And this is a good collaborative effort amongst all the communities to represent what Joe was about, that sum total. Thank you. and opinions expressed do not necessarily represent those of Access Fort Wayne, the Allen County Public Library, or any other supporting group. If you or anyone you know might be interested in making a television show, please call 260-421-1250. Access Fort Wayne is a department of the Allen County Public Library.